Um, all right. I had to document or make some commentary to this. Western women and their value systems are trash. Western so-called blacks and whites culture is trash. The Western woman is not a leader. She only leads herself. And any woman that does not accept boundaries and the word no is trash, okay? There's scripture for these types of women, all right? A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, okay? But these Western women do not love the fathers of their children and that's what makes them a bad mother. Now this man did not accept this woman giving him her, well, let's say she was talking shit. Western women talking shit, these men are not accepting it, okay? And this is one man that did not accept this Western woman telling him he's not gonna see his children, all right? A lot of men in the West, there's men, there are men out here that love being a father more than they love being a husband. And this is one man that didn't tolerate that. The time has come and my thing is, I'm not against woman, but I'm against the women who decide they don't need a man, and they're going to run off with his children. Children come from a man's scrotum, and they come from a man's penis, okay? Western women that don't accept that should be regarded as off-limits and should not be allowed to have children. Too many women in the Western society has kept this single motherhood thing going, and the reason why single motherhood is a choice and is not regarded as a uh, side effect of men deciding to leave the women. Listen, if men and women in the West, whether they're Edomites, so-called whites, or so-called blacks, which are Hebrew Israelites, if they don't match values, the man and the woman should not be together. And anyone will agree Two people don't need to be together, blah, 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 right? But when it comes down to these single mothers, they've decided to create a success story based on single motherhood, which is not a success, all right? <clears throat> Salakia. Here you have an article where the woman told her ex-boyfriend that killing her was the only way to see the children. I don't like to say kids because kids mean goats. All right. In Hebrew, the only way to see the see the children again. So he went to her workplace and shot her dead as she was hugging a co-worker behind the counter. All right. I don't advocate violence against these women. All I'm pointing out is that women in the West take it to the they, they, they take it to the point where a man is left with no choice because the court system does not govern his fatherhood or his children. Women that do not cooperate with the man being a father, they're going to find themselves in similar situations, if not legality, legality situations or situations where a man is just not going to tolerate her trying to boss up or posture up as if she's some author author authoritative figure over the man, okay? Now, my channel here is based on informative information and edification. I want to wish all my subscribers the best of health and high spirits, and I wish that you and your loved ones are safe. I'm up to 114 subscribers. I want to thank and salute 
my 114th subscriber, as well as my 113th, as well as my 112th, as well as well as my 111th, as well as my 110th, as well as well as my 109th, as well as my 108th, as well as my 107th, as well as my 106th, as well as well as my 105th. Try saying this stuff five times real quick as well as my 104th. I want to salute and thank my subscribers. Um, this channel was not going nowhere. At one point, I thought about doing away with it, but my channel was for edification. Here we have a female in the West, these Western women, and their values are trash. Most of them are unfit for livelihood, okay? They're too transactional. And the men in the West, as long as they're not serving their divine purpose, then they're going to be considered trash as well. Now, this is a, um, a Gentile situation in this article. And the woman is a Gentile and the man is most likely a Gentile. So these Western cultures have reached their point of boiling over and the so-called white man is feeling the pressure of supporting um, um, capitalism and the so-called white woman has felt her portion of misery with supporting capitalism and being a single mother. Every Western woman is not cut out to be a single mother. And the men in the West, they shouldn't stand for this single motherhood, forcing him to be um, a baby daddy. And then, you know, these single mothers are foolish and going out their way and saying things like this article states where the man, and he's not even a husband, He's just a boyfriend. This boyfriend and this dating thing. Has anyone seen the Deontay Wilder incident where his, I believe it was his wife, she said she wouldn't date anyone unless they're a winner. But if they were married, she still said dating. Dating is not marriage and dating does not lead to um, a spiritual um, or a covenant of a marriage, all right, a divine marriage. The Western woman, she's looking for the easy way out that doesn't require any work. And dating puts all the obligation on the man and his finances. A lot of these women in the West are measuring a man based on his finances when they can get all these things from the government instead of looking for the average man or just a man that is outside of the government to sponsor her as a woman instead of her putting in that work, that necessary required work to be a wife and she would better benefit these men that she decides to deal with. The Western man needs to wise up and give up on this dream of so-called Americans, which are Edomites and so-called white people. The American dream is trash, okay, to be honest, and it's deceived too many. There's still a lot of individuals who support and believe in this American dream. I'm going to give you men some advice. Stop dreaming and get yourself a vision which requires a plan, okay, and that I give you all, you men, a better edge and it will support your position of power as having natural authority over any woman that decides to be with you, okay? And this is, this is, this is a jewel to you Western men, all right? Culturally, not, ethnic, not, not ethnicity, um, ethnic Western men. This is to you cultural Western men who believe in white Jesus, this false god, and believe in falsehoods like Christianity 
and you men are still trying to up, uphold this Western culture of being a provider and a protector when you men are more than that, okay? You men are problem solvers and spiritual leaders over these women. But there's too many in the West, too many men in the West um, that continue to support this American dream, which is a nightmare, okay? You men, get your children. If a woman decides not to be with you, get your children. Put yourself in a position to where you're not away from your child. At least your child is with you. And whatever assignment you have in life, you can always have a situation that uh, supports your child or your children and your assignment, okay? We got to kill this single motherhood thing. Do away with it. And do what you do what's required of you as a father and stop being a baby daddy. Stop letting these women run off with your children. Stop supporting these women that don't want to be with you. And stop supporting women who measure you based on your finances. These Western women are trash. Don't let no woman deal with you if she's not bringing something to the table besides her advertising of her beauty and her sex without contributing financially to her own relationship. She has no relationship if you do not decide to be one. I just wanted to point this out real quick. Um, the best scripture that I can pull out for this situation is that a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. Okay. Um, let me point that out real quick. Oh boy. This is, this is, this is, this is messed up, right? Okay, this is a uh, second address, uh, 26 and 25. Shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. Now these are Edomites, so-called white people. They were not required to keep the laws. They have the scripture. They have the Bible. They have these falsehoods and these churches and these religions, but they do not push the laws of Yahweh. But still, you uh, Western uh, melanated Edomites, culturally, if you're subscribed to my channel, take heed. And I hope that all of my subscribers are taking heed to these agendas that are waged against us in this um, Western society of America behind enemy lines. Okay. Um, the other scripture that I can pull is, uh, let me see. Um, the curses. Uh, this is uh, this is Deuteronomy 20, 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and shall overtake thee. Um, uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Give me one second, Salakia. Deuteronomy 30. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And, and on them, on them that hate thee, which, uh, which per persecuted thee and shall return and obey the voice of the Lord, Yahweh, and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. So these heathens will be required to keep the commandments once they are uh, in servitude to the elect and the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, when we are in our own land. And that's what's required of these um, Edomites in the future tense. But right now, the curses will fall upon these heathens. The so-called Western woman and her value systems is trash. 
Hopefully this channel has been edifying to someone. I want to thank all my subscribers. This has been a beak. I want to drop this edification real quick. And um, I want to wish you and yours high health. And I uh, wish that you all are in high spirits. And I wish that you all are taking the proper precautions against these agendas in the West that are waged against us behind enemy lines, a.k.a. America, okay, which is spiritual Babylon, all right? This is, uh, this article is, uh, this article is like, like I told you, I don't wish bad on anyone, but these men in the West, there are men that rather be that rather be a father than a husband and there's men that take being a father much more serious than being a husband dating is trash dating is low-key prostitution dating is all about a man's finances i'm not sure when these western men are going to wise up and abandon dating and abandon friendships with these women that are not doing the required work to be a wife that's why the scripture is a safe haven. The law is a covering. All right. The Western Edomite, a.k.a. white man, so-called white man, will not take heed to these scriptures. But I put out this edification for the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. Hopefully you men will wise up, put yourself first, stop being a pervert, stop allowing yourself to be subjected to the woman's foolishness in the West. The Western woman is not a leader of men. She's a leader of herself, okay? And that's where she detached herself from her culture, the scriptures, the law, statutes, and commandments, and she decided to lead herself. And she's been making some terrible decisions as far as being a single mother and taking you, you men's children and f and her mother and her relatives has been fraternizing with your children the entire time in this so-called black community. You men need to wise up, all right? Stop attempting to marry these women. Most of these Western women are undesirable. Protect yourself at all times like a boxer and keep these law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. Start reading your scripture and stay away from these Western women, all right? All right, the culture of the West is trash. So-called blacks have adopted this culture. You definitely don't wanna fuck with a so-called Western Edomite, because she's definitely trash when it comes to her value systems. So again, this has been a beak. I wanna say Shalom. And I want to thank all my subscribers, especially the 100, 114th, 113th, 112th, 111th, 110th, 109th, 108th, and 107th, and 106th. Again, I look at my channel and I see these subscribers. Every now and then I check in and tap in. But um, I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Um, this is not a this is not a, this is not a, um, this is not a hate channel. This is an edification channel. So I want to say Shalom.